Hello there, viewers, and welcome to Farming Simulator 22, Carmston Farm. A lot of things have actually happened, a lot of things have been going on, and as you know, this is the Carmston Takeover, and I've been doing bulk recording. This one is a few days after... Oh, goodness me, I, uh, I do believe I've uploaded episode three of the takeover, and I think there's five recordings for that. So this will be the sixth. It's all confusing because I haven't even edited it all properly. But as you can see, this potato field is now done. I completed it, and it took forever i have got a few potatoes and i actually wanted to use the potatoes in the potato processing as well as the sorting trays here but it's something glitchy with the actual mod so i've just transformed these into npc owned thing with potato processing this is all of the potato not all of it because I do believe I already sold a few on camera it's been a few days since the last actual recording so I don't know if I have done or not but as you can see this is the last loads of that field so it's time to sell and I don't mind if I don't make a profit out of this lot because, as you can see, I'm doing quite well for now, I reckon. I do believe that is going to guarantee me a farm and a few fields and starting equipment. So I'm going to do this now in August. Then I'm going to skip to the last crops that are going to be harvested. I do believe that is sugar beet, sunflower and soybeans. I do believe. And that will be it. Actually, whilst I'm here, let me go and do this. As you can see, I have got two fields here with potatoes in. I don't want to do them. So what I'm going to do is sell the field without harvesting it. So that is up to whoever buys it off me. They can deal with the potatoes. I just had enough of the potatoes thanks to that other field. As you can actually see, these trailers are practically full. So, I've got a fair few. I can't stand seeing another potato. So, let's get rid of this one. And then I can get rid of the least items. There we go. Do that. Trailers. Return. Don't really need them as of yet. There we go. Um, that's it. Anything you sells? Nope. Nothing will actually help me out. So let me turn everything off by doing that there we go are you still what sounds still running there you go they're all off now <laughs> right so i need to get all of this equipment down to the actual fields what are actually going to be harvested and get ready for the next and final 
harvesting to be done for this series and this is indeed going to be the last episode as well basically what i'm planning to actually do is show a bit of the actual work that i'll be doing on the actual fields and then doing a final clip on selling the products from the actual productions because they've been working behind the scenes so i make sure i allow them to actually finish so i need to just get stuff ready and then after that it will be bye bye Carmston and hello Court Farm and there we go this should be the day that everything is ready to actually harvest and it is look at that that is fantastic actually forgot to sell you there we go get rid of you not bad at all so i need to harvest 11 32 36 and that is it there's a lot of uh withered crops out there got a minute so i don't know if the ai is behind i know of course my two would be of course withered but look at this oh that's cultivated now the computer's cultivating all right then so yeah you can actually see it working all these lines here as well all right okay so the ai is just catching up i need to be at the shop mind you there we go right i'm finally at the shop gone through two skips made some money and we've actually noticed the AI working on the fields as we speak thanks to the map so I need a harvester for the corn and then I need a harvester for soybeans and I don't know if I'm actually going to go for the biggest ones here to buy us because they're only small fields. So let's go with the dinky dinks. So let's go ahead and lease you out. And that is for the corn and then soybeans. So that's two of you. Perfect. Brilliant. And now let's go ahead and get the sugar beets sorted out. Decorated with a header first. There we go. And then let's go with you in no plate. Lease. There we go. Brilliant. There we go. Now it's time for me to get to the fields. And everything looks to be golden. So I'm going to start off with the sugar bee harvest first. So let's crack on. These are small fields, so I'm only going to be putting some time skips in. Because I would like to obviously get the series done and dusted with. And I got four small fields to actually go and look after. And then that will be it. And I don't know when Court Farm will be actually starting. 
I'm hoping to do two episodes a week on it. It just depends on my other series is what are going on. Silver Run I think is coming to an end. So once that is done and dusted, I won't be starting a new map. I don't believe if I do. We'll just have to wait and see what happens with Port Farm. I normally do do one episode a week on each map that I'm actually on, so... We'll just have to wait and see, that's all I can actually say. I don't know what else to actually uh, say on that piece there. need to shut that gate I thought I could actually just get there no right turn you on and there we go right now I've actually done that let's see hmm actually I think I might need to go down this way I'm just wondering where I can actually park the lorry when it comes to unloading. So I'm actually near there. Tight turn. Brilliant. Knock out a bit of the hedge. It's lucky that we don't actually break hedges and trees when we crash into a moor. Or the fact that the damage is done by a time scaling and not you actually running your vehicle into objects but actually damage them what would normally damage the vehicles in real life I think it can actually go over the actual bush there we go actually not bad fantastic and this is the time when i need this to be off there you go other times i always have that option on i do need one load for the small trailer or is it no, it's two loads that I need with the small trailer. And I'm easily going to get them two small trailers plus a good trailer full in this. For a small field, it's yielded quite nicely. I get ever so closer. There we go. And the half statue needs to be on. No, that's definitely not the harvester. That's the harvester. There we go. Fantastic. Brilliant. Get it turned on ready. I actually like these. I'm trying to remember when was the first initial installment of this vehicle trying to think because this is of course a mod but I'm just wondering when did this vehicle actually come about in farming simulator and why did it go it's a nice miniature compact beat harvester all the rest of bulky and bulging like a muscle car. Fine, they might hold more. 
Well, if you've got a small farm, it's either something like this or a trailer one. And them trailers, I'm sorry. Working width of 1.5 meters? Even a field this size would drive me insane. Going up and down. And that's probably like two or three rows. It's insane. Just planting this stuff with three meter whip is kind of bonkers. So this is nice and perfect for this field. If I had something bigger, it'll just be over the top, to be honest. And I'm yielding quite well. Alright, let me get the pipe out, turn off. And go and get you. Because I actually don't need a drive bar with this tractor and trailer. It's only up to there. And that's it. Alright, don't really fancy driving through the crops. Don't like it, but it has to be done. So let's get underneath here. Get our first 8,000 litres. And then I should come about and get the second, and then that'll be it for the sugar beet. Well, this actually took. Quicker than I actually thought, so I'm glad about that. I have gone ahead and sold one trailer full of sugar bee. I could have actually gone ahead and cut this up and then sold it. But that's just too much extra work, to be honest. So that can go off now. That's it. The field is now done. I have got some sugar bee actually in the trailer still. Ugh. Slow down. It's very bouncy as well, I've got to admit. Must be the massive fat tires. And each time I look at how much I'm actually gaining from all this and the possibilities of how much I'm actually going to end this series on it's surprising shocking and amazing all at the same time because I know that I can actually get good pieces of equipment but yet I still have to balance it up with the fact that one I have to buy everything there is no leasing at all it is gone leasing to own vehicles that mod isn't even going to be on lease land I thought about doing it, but now that I know how it actually works properly, it's not going to be on Court Farm. It will stay on the valley of the old farm. But I might do some tweaking to that. Because it's not lease to own, it is just lease, and that's it. So, you get the land, and it does come with a massive, massive hat. Which I think 
needs to be changed. Actually, to be honest, I know it needs to be changed. So, yep, that field is done. I can return. That will be harvester now. You can go. And the header as well can go. Don't need it no more. 